Hey guys, it's Christy with Anchor Life 5. Thanks for stopping by, spending a little bit of time with me. Um, we are going to continue on with our tutorial on our traveler's notebooks. Um, we're going to catch you up a little bit. The first video, we went ahead and we made the cover, and I showed you how to do the binding and how to make the um, inserts right here. The second video, um, I added some accessories, such as these journaling cards. Um, actually, that was the third video. The second video, I showed you how to do the shaker pocket and how to um, do these other pockets. Then in the third video, there we go, we added some um, accessories, dolled up our notebooks a little bit, we made two page markers right here, and we made um, a dashboard using vellum, and then another little vellum sheet to add some, um, some more color, and um, you know, you just could never have too many accessories in there. So this is where we're at. We are on the finishing stages of this notebook. Um, we need to make a pen loop. We need to make, um, what do we need to make? We need to make a pen loop. We need to make some paper clips. And we need to make um, a charm to go on the side of it. Um, those are just things that I add to all of mine. Um, you know, as I've said, everything's a personal choice. That's just what I do with mine. Um, you can do something different if you want with yours. Um, but yeah, anyway. All right. Just trying to make sure I got everything out here that we're going to need. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we are going um, to make our pen loop. Um, this is just some glitter elastic that I got at Tuesday morning. Um, the way I do mine is super simple. I take a binder clip right here. I'm going to take my hot glue gun. Please excuse this hot glue gun. It is nasty. Um, just like I'm sure everybody else's is. We're going to add a little bit of hot glue to the side. Take your elastic. Kind of push it down. In right there. Make sure it's good and steady. I'm going to take my pen. Yeah, okay, we got to clean that up. I'm going to put it on the side right here and I'm going to wrap it around. And then we're going to, that's how we're going to measure our elastic. Cut it off. A little bit more hot glue. Glue it down, push it in under these little grooves right here. A little bit too much glue on that one. There we go. And that is it, guys. Now you have your pen loop. I always like to attach mine back here in the back, um, usually on the last notebook. So now you just open it up and you clip it and there you go. All right, so there's our pen loop. Super, 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 super simple. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some paper clips. Um, what I have here are these really, really gorgeous paper flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby um, and they just kind of match with the bohemian feel of, of this notebook. Um, I like to make mine dimensional and double-sided if at all possible. Um, so this one, I can do that. I'm just going to take these. I'm going to put some hot glue. I'm going to take my paper clip, place it down, and then take this other one and kind of line it up as best as I can and then press down and that is it and look at that 
can kind of fluff it up a little bit. And now we have a little dimensional paper clip. And then for this other one, <clears throat> this one has some green on the back, some greenery. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel this off. I'm going to peel it off. Add your hot glue. Now you need enough that you're gonna that this is gonna stick. Stick your paper clip right there in the middle. We're gonna take this back and just glue it back down. Yeah, I burned myself a little bit there. Sorry, and I'm out of frame. There we go. And there we go. Now we have two really cute paper clips. Super simple to do. And I love how they look on the back. So there we go. That was it for our paper clips and our pen loop. I know those were like the super, super simple, um, easy things to make here. So we're just going to add these. We're probably going to add this one up front because it's smaller. There we go. And then let's go ahead and we'll add this one back here. Look at that. Super, super cute. All right, now for the tassel. I like to include a tassel on all of mine. Um, some people add charms right here. I used to, I really don't anymore because I like to have mine sitting up like this. And when they're sitting up, um, these get in the way. And I just think they look really pretty hanging down here. So what I'm gonna be using for this is I have this charm that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, and it is just total bohemian. And it already came like this and it just really fits the theme. It's got this little bottle with a cork, a feather, um, an arrow with a heart, and then these really pretty crystal beads right here. Um, and then I'm going to be using these beads um, and some of these circle rings and this tassel um, right here. And actually, I didn't get something out that I needed to get out, so um, there we go. Good thing it was right on top. Um, and for the beads, we're actually going to need um, some of these um, pens right here. So this is just way too big to put on the side of a notebook. So we're actually going to take this one off and save it because we can definitely use it for something else. And I'm just going to add a lobster clasp on it and actually... That won't fit. So what we're going to do is close this back up. Maybe. And then we're going to add one of our rings right here to the lobster clasp. And then put it on there. Where'd you go? There we go. Now we have a nice way to hang it. All right, I am going to add this pretty tassel to this also. So once again, we just need one of our rings. Slip it around there. Kind of figure out, I'm actually gonna add it up here to the top. Um, because it's long. And I'm adding a lot to this one just because of the feel of it, of Bohemian. Um, I think that it can, it can handle it. So for these right here, I'm just going to use, I don't really know what they're called. <laughs> We're going to stick a couple of these really pretty beads on here.
I'm going to take it, you're going to pinch it up at the top, and you're just going to roll it. And you see that it makes a little circle right here, kind of like the bottom one. And just make sure that you close it really well. Like I did not do. There we go. And then we can take another one of our rings right here. And then add these pretty, pretty beads right here also. Because like I said, I think it can totally, I think this charm can totally handle a lot. And then we're going to go ahead and make one more. This one I'm going to do a little bit different. So I'm going to add two of these sort of clear ones. And then one of these. And then two more. Just so it's not exactly the same as the other one. And pinch it up at the top and then just curl it to close it. Maybe. I've got big old chunky hands, and so sometimes... All right, there we go. And another one of our little circle rings. Just kind of feel it out. Um, I think this could probably do good right here. So there we go. Here is our, our little traveler's notebook charm that we made. And we're going to add it right here to the side. And there we go, guys. Here is our finished product. I'm super happy about the way um, that this turned out. Um, we'll do a really quick little flip through. So we've got our, our kind of chunky charm tassel um, right here. And then we open it up and we've got our little journaling cards with our adhesive pocket, our shaker pocket, super, super, super cute. We've got our paper clip that we made and we've got our covers and our notebooks and they're separate so you can trade them in and out. Our page marker, another empty pocket our next notebook with our another page marker that we did. We've got a dashboard with some sticky notes and another dashboard, another pocket, another pocket with some die cut um, feathers in there. There's our two sides for a dashboard. Another really pretty paper uh, paper flower paper clip, our pen loop, and our pen, and then our last pocket, and then we do have another pocket right here that you can fit things in. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for um, sticking this one out with me, and I hope that you have enjoyed um, all of these tutorials and that you watch them all. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share and tell your friends um, all about it. Uh, visit my Etsy shop at Anchor Life Buy. And until next time, bye guys.